Can you describe your character in The Way Out? So in The Way Out, I play, uh, my character's name is Shane Collins. And it is, he plays somebody that's very aggressive. Um, the movie in and of itself sort of has a David Fincher fight club vibe to it. And in my character, my, my character, Shane, he, um, he was abused when he was a kid and he ends up living with the, uh, the other, uh, lead character, Johnny Bouchamp, who was abused and he sort of feels bad for him. He takes him under his wing and he, he tries to help him out, um, and then things turn very bad and very violent. And uh, <laughs> and that's the movie. How did you get involved with the project? So uh, the project uh, was, the script was sent to me through a friend of mine, Nick Thurr, who I worked with on Slapface. Uh, he was, uh, he and I worked together on Slapface and he, he is the producer on The Way Out. And, um, and so he asked me if I wanted to be involved. And after uh, some changes to the script, uh, I said yes. And then one day, Barry J, the writer director, called me and said, Hey, Mike, uh, I want you to be Shane in this. How do you feel about that? And after a long conversation, I agreed. Did you find any scene particularly difficult to film? This character is different than any other character I've played before in terms of him being more violent and more sociopathic and more sort of doing whatever needs to be done to get what he wants um, in a very extreme way. And so... I was uh, nervous about a lot of what is in the script and, and what we ended up filming um, for a lot of different reasons. Some of the emotional things I was nervous about just because I, I really wanted to make sure we did those justice so that everybody would see the violence and see, you know, the, the, the aggression of my character, but they also needed to see the emotion for it to be balanced and for them to understand why he was doing what he did. Um, and then, and then of course, some of the fight sequences and more of the physical stuff. Um, I was, I was more excited than anything. I wasn't really nervous. Um, but that was a big part of this movie too, that we had to rehearse and, and get right. Did you get to have any input into the script for the movie? So the nice thing about working with Barry on this is that I did have input on the script and with the character in particular. Um, a lot of the backstory of the two characters in this script are based on Barry's life. And some of the, and I, I asked him to talk about this, so it's fine. Um, some of the, the harder things that he faced when he was a child and Barry is a success story. I mean, he is, is, is great. You know, he did a great job directing this. Uh, he is, he helped found co-found Barry's Boot Camp, which is a really successful gym franchise. So, you know, now he's, he's really done the work and, and moved on past this, but um, because the story is so personal to him, he would either help us and walk us through the emotional beats to really get to where we needed to to go with the character or he had a really good reason why he didn't want to change something in the scene or he would listen to us and allow us to make it our own and change it so um he was very collaborative the entire time is there any chance of a sequel <laughs> oh that's funny uh yeah so there might be a chance for a sequel uh we left it open-ended and I think, I mean, without giving any away too many spoilers, um, I think it could happen maybe. Do you enjoy playing dark characters and why or why not? I like when a role causes me to stretch myself and to push myself and to change myself physically and mentally for that character. So for this movie, 
I gained 13 pounds of muscle. I, I, I took boxing classes for three months leading up to filming. And physically, I tried to change myself as much as possible for the role. Um, I think that, you know, I, I love doing that as an actor. That's why we do what we do, right? To change and to 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 embody these different characters. Um, do, do those characters necessarily have to be dark for me to enjoy that? No. Uh, and sometimes uh, I have a handful of projects coming out this year. Uh, some of them are are rom like romantic comedies and I play really light characters. And, and so it's really nice to have that balance and to be able to bounce back and forth. I can't say I prefer one or the other just because it's, it's, it's about the character in the world. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a hot second before I play another character as dark as Shane, I think. How do you get into character? Wow. Uh, there are so many things things um every character is different so some characters are really close to who I am as a person and I just show up on set and sort of adjust a few things and and do my best to stay present and listen to the other characters and just and and I am a version of my a closer version of myself some characters uh I really have to change myself physically or mentally or both um like this character to to do them justice. And so, yeah, I, 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 uh, I think it just depends on the character. Uh, some characters create more emotional work and I will journal as the character, or I will come up with different memories, or I will look into my own life to see, you know, if I can relate to it in any way, uh, that sort of thing. And then some characters, I just have to show up and, and listen and, uh, be myself and and you know it's a, it's it's an easier kind of role to play in your experience how many takes do you have to do for a fight scene to be good oh for a fight scene specifically uh well the nice thing about fight scenes is you have to do multiple angles and multiple multiple takes um if, be, just because of the nature of the scene you know typically you know, you have two or more characters and they're both moving and they're both uh, wrestling. And, and you know, a fight scene is almost like a choreographed dance. So you do one thing, another character does another thing, another character does another thing. And so, um, I mean, most of the time there has to be multiple takes in order to get all the coverage. Um, but I think it is nice to have sort of find that flow and find that rhythm to really make it feel real and natural and, and quick. And, um, and so, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I think for some of the fight scenes in the film, we did it all the way through and we would get a couple masters and then we get, we would get coverage and everything else. And it was traditional uh, for some of the fight scenes. They were so choreographed that we had to do, different uh we had to do chunks of the scene and so we couldn't even do the whole scene all together we would just do chunks over here and then clean off the blood or do chunks over here and fix the prosthetic or do whatever it was um so yeah for every single scene it's it's a different number the horror slash thriller genre seem popular with independent studios do you have any thoughts on why this would be the case I think specifically with independent film, horror and thriller films are easier to make good at a lower budget uh, because a lot of thrillers are, are character based and they're, you know, the point of a thriller is to make you feel that anxiety or that adrenaline or you not knowing what's going to happen next. And ne you don't necessarily, it's not like an action movie where you have a bunch of car explosions or, uh, you know, an adventure movie where you have characters trekking through the jungle. You can do that in a set that is much easier to build. Uh, and then the same thing with horror. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do in the dark or in a dark forest or with just tricks with the camera that don't cost a lot that uh, will will give audiences what they expect in a horror film, which is to be scared. 
So I think that's why in particular you see more horror thrillers than, you know, say actions or, you know, big budget adventure films uh, with independent fi studios or independent production companies uh, because they're taking a risk when they finance that. And, you know, and so obviously they're going to finance it for a smaller amount. Are you usually a fan of thrillers? And if so, what do you like about them? I personally love thrillers. I love psychological thrillers. I love thrillers that make you think. And I love thrillers that are very uh, character based. Um, one of my favorite movies uh, that really impacted me as a child was The Sixth Sense. And Haley Joel Osment just did such a good job as the little boy seeing dead people, right? And Bruce Willis did such a good job in his role. And, and the movie in and of itself, I think I saw the movie before I was probably supposed to, when I think I was like 12. Uh, but I just remember being so wrapped up in the world of this little boy and seeing ghosts and seeing dead people. And I, uh, I, I, I was convinced for a couple of weeks after the movie that I was like hearing whispers in my house and thinking that I was like hearing ghosts. Um, but, but yeah, I think thrillers are able to do that for us is to give us to make the hair on our arms stand up. Uh, Hereditary is a more recent example with Tony Collette, and and that movie was so good because it was character based, and for so much of that movie, you just follow these characters losing their minds, and and I, you're I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. So, um, yeah, I think that they're de definitely the thriller genre, uh, horror thriller genre is is one of my favorites. Is there anything in the horror slash thriller space that you haven't done and would like to do such as a type of character or something involving a particular creature? Good question. Um, I mean, obviously there, there has to be, uh, I haven't found it yet. I think I'll know it when I see it, but I would definitely like to do a, another film, uh, that is in the horror thriller space with creatures. Uh, there's one actually right now that I, a script that I wrote that I'm trying to develop uh, and, and, and have uh, put with, with a studio uh, that has some creatures in it. So uh, fingers crossed, hopefully you and I can have another interview and we'll talk about uh, that film next year. Do you know if getting publicity for horror type movies is easier or more difficult than other genres? One thing that's nice about the horror genre is that the fan base is very supportive. So you have fans that are, are, are they'll watch every film and they will tell their friends and they will go see it. And um, recently I had another film come out called Slap Face and the horror thriller uh, fan base was extremely supportive of that film uh, for us and we have a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes right now and um, and and it continues to be viewed and be talked about and and there were a ton of of blogs and media outlets uh, specifically just for horror that really reached out and wanted to push the film and talk about the film and everything else so uh, so yeah I think I think they're a nice thing about the horror genre is that if you're a horror fan, you are a horror fan and you will help uh, push uh, upcoming, you know, and, and current movies that are good. How was it going back to days of our lives for your latest appearance? All right. Uh, so going back to days was fun. Uh, Charlie Dale, my character on days, is such a fun character to play because he uh he's manipulative and he's uh sort of a jerk and now on days i'm not giving any spoilers away because the episode's already aired i'm coming back as a figment of my mother's imagination so my mother on the show is going crazy and then i'm coming back as a figment of her imagination to sort of drive her even crazier and to and to convince her to do bad things and get in trouble and everything so it was a really fun character to to come in and sort of stir up the drama uh on the show and plus salem is is such a nice um place to exist the cast is really nice working with tamara again was great um 
working with Lucas, you know, who plays my brother on the show was fantastic. Um, and then Ron, you know, the, 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 the writer, all the writers just do such a great job at, um, at creating characters that, you know, that are fun and that you want to, you want to be a part of that world. So it was, it was a good time. Was it fun working so much with Tamara Braun? Yeah. Uh, Tamara is, is fantastic and, and such a lovely person. And, um, and most of my scenes, well, actually all of my scenes were with her because I was a figment of her imagination. Whenever somebody else came in the room, I would disappear. So I, I, for the entire time I was back on the show, I only worked with Tamara. Um, and luckily she and I get along really well. Where can people follow you and your work? So if people are interested in what I'm doing, um, I have a website. It's mikemanning.info. Uh, it's just my name, mikemanning.info. And then uh, on social media, I'm just Mike underscore Manning. I'm, I think there might be another underscore. It's like two underscores. But if you just type in my name, it's the first one that comes up.